Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the migration update for April 2nd, 2024 from the Braddock Bay Hawk Watch. Kim and I started out the day at the Braddock Bay East Spit where there was just a tiny sliver of clear sky on the horizon, otherwise cloudy with strong easterly winds. There were two swans in the water between the East Spit and the Barrier Island, and as we approached, they flushed and started calling, and I noticed the black bills, so we immediately knew that they were not mute swans, and I started taking photos, hoping they would be trumpeter swans, but from my photo, I think they are just tundra swans. You can see the smaller black bills, and it looks like this one has a little bit of yellow in front of the eye, which is a good field mark for tundra swan rather than trumpeter swan. And they were nice to see. It's been probably a week or more since we've had any tundra swans pass through. The peak of their migration was really about a month ago. We mostly hung out at the tip of the east spit where we were sheltered from the wind and there was some cool texture to the clouds. And I knew it wouldn't be a very good day at the Hawk Watch with rain moving in, so I tried to take a lot of photos from the east spit. For comparison to those other swans, here we see swans that have orangish bills and black to the face with a black knob. These are mute swans. Here we have two large dark sea ducks with large bills and a little bit of white to them. These are white-winged scoters. Here we have a duck with a dark green head and a very thin bill, some white to the neck down to a red breast, and some green to the sides with a kind of distinctive pattern here. And this is a male red-breasted merganser. Here we have a pair of ducks. We see the male on the left in flight. We see white that wraps all the way around the back of the head. On the female here on the right, we just see a smaller white patch on the head. These are buffle heads. Here we have a pair of ducks that are uniformly dark throughout the top side, not really any white highlights to speak of, relatively long tails. On the right here, we see a really distinctive facial pattern on the head of the male. And on the left, we see a female with a lot of white around the eye. These are wood ducks. Here we have three swallows that are blue on top and white below. And when the tails are closed, they're just slightly forked. These are tree swallows. And tree swallows are still the predominant swallow species that we're seeing, and their numbers seem to be increasing. We had about 75 of them out from the spit this morning. And then most of them came as this big wave. And you can see them here. They were swooping low over the water and the sand, picking something off. Here we have a pair of scop on the female on the left. We can see some white here behind the bill. And if we look at the male, we see an all dark head and we can see that there's a peak towards the back, making this a lesser scop. Here we can sort of see a duck. Most of the body is hidden behind a wave. Uh, it looks a little bit reddish though, and the main thing that we see is a large white cheek patch. This is a male ruddy duck. Here we have a duck that's mostly dark overall, just a little bit of white to the trailing edge of the speculum, no white in front of it. This is an American black duck. Here's another look at an American black duck and notice the contrast between the dark body and the white underwing. Here we have a female duck where we see green on the inner half of the speculum. This is a small duck. In fact, it is a teal. It's a green winged teal. Here we have an adult gall. We do not see a black ring on the bill, rather just a little bit of a red dot. And we see pinkish feet. This is a herring gall. Here we have a stripy sparrow that was perched up singing. This is a song sparrow. Here we have a swallow in poor light. We see an overall dark head contrasting with a more yellowish or reddish body. And we also see a very long forked tail. And anytime we see a tail like this on a swallow, we know that it is a barn swallow. Our other swallow species do not have a tail like this. Here we have a duck with a white stripe down the forehead. We can't make out much of the head other than it looks a little bit dark, maybe slightly greenish brown sides, and then a patch of white, and then black all the way at the back end of the body. This is a male American widgeon. Here we have another American widgeon in flight, another male, and I think this is a younger male because of how reduced the white is on the upper wing. And just as we were getting ready to head back in, we were watching this group of turkey vultures up over the west spit, and they were all just facing into the wind and were almost perfectly stationary, so it was a little bit uncanny. It was like they weren't moving at all. From the east spit, we had 37 species. After that, Kim bailed, but I made my way over to Braddock Bay Park, and I went out on the boardwalk for a little bit. And the main highlight out there was a look at this group of American coots. Notice that they're black overall with white bills. 
I made my way up to the Hawkwatch platform and it continued to be overcast with those strong easterly winds and the count ended after two hours as rain moved in and that rain continued throughout the day. And I did pick up one new species for this season, which was this large swallow. We see a slightly forked tail, see a dark head and throat and real smudgy underside. This is a purple martin. And it's not an adult male, it's either a female or a juvenile, I'm really not sure. And here's one more look at that purple martin, and this is a species that we'll see in decent numbers throughout the rest of the season. And the only migrants of the day were a few turkey vultures that decided to push through into those strong easterly winds. Taking a look at the eBird list from the Hawk Watch, today I had 33 species. Taking a look at the hawk count report for our migrant raptor totals, today we had seven turkey vultures for a total of seven migrating raptors. That brings the April total to 111 and the season total to 8,231. Taking a look at the forecast for tomorrow, it's looking cloudy with periods of rain, a high in the mid-40s and winds east-southeast at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Chance of rain 100% with rainfall near an inch. So... Um, it's saying periods of rain, so maybe there will be sometimes it won't be raining. I might try to sneak out for a bit and see if anything's happening. Those east-southeast winds are overall unfavorable for us, especially combined with those gloomy, rainy conditions. So I would expect that there won't be much migration and the count may not be held. For Thursday, we're looking at snow with strong east-northeast winds. Count will probably not be held. And for Friday, occasional snow showers mixing with rain, high of 41 and Strong north-northwest wind, so again, unfavorable conditions. Count probably won't be held, or if it is, only expect a little bit of migration. All right, well, it ended up being a decent morning of birding, sneaking out for a few hours before the rain started and seeing a nice variety of ducks, and also the first day of the season with three swallow species, with the tree swallow, barn swallow, and purple martin. Next few days aren't looking so good, so maybe we can all get some rest, and the sun will pop back out over the weekend, and we'll look forward to some good migration days after that. Hope to see you soon out at the Braddock Bay Hawkwatch. From Lyco Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.